TNTM The Show presents Talking Nerdy Year End Review with The Ambassador, Slay J, and Pablo Gunner, The we're Gun Show. Oh yeah, and we're here to talk nerdy to you about 2023, the best of, right? Yes, yeah. Like, but uh, just go ahead and hit us up. We're on YouTube, we're on Facebook, we're on Twitter. Anywhere you want to go, TNTM the show, you can find our content. You can go to Facebook, look at our reels, go to Instagram, look at our memes, go to our website, check everything out. Yep. Especially our merch. But wait, there's more. Absolutely, yes. I have the new Doctor Who, which this was just a prototype. This is why we order our stuff, because we're like, okay, how's this going to look? Not as good as I thought, I, you know, like... I thought this was going to be a good placement right here, but uh, no, it's, it's, gonna, too in between. it's too high. Oh, well, okay. the, the lettering's too high, lettering. so I'm going to drop it. So I already dropped it. I drop, I pulled it all down, so it's already up on the site. Fixed. Boom. Ready for you there to you get go. the new and improved Talk Nerd to Me Doctor Who merch. We do have some free shipping uh, merch, so check out that. It has a ribbon that says free shipping, mm -hmm. and 5% uh, of our proceeds each month go to a different charity, so... Uh, check that out and support us so you can support some good causes out there like diabetes. Uh, what was our most recent one? Uh, AIDS. AIDS, yes. Uh, not not the people that help you, but the the uh, the affliction on people. So mm -hmm. just think of Freddie Mercury, and you'll you'll know what it is. <laughs> so games. Games. Yes. Game it all. Game on. Yeah. Ready? Granted, I haven't played all the games that came out this year because yeah, I do. It's, 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 can. it's difficult. I've, I've seen a lot of them, but that counts. Yeah. Uh, what would you say, man? I, I want to say Spider Man Two, but I haven't played it. So <laughs> I would be like, Spider Man Two is my game of the year. I haven't even played it, but it's well, that, a game of the year. That makes sense. I think you if know? we're objectively going into it, it's like you got to kind of pick that one. Yeah. yeah. But personally, what would you? say that you played that i played this year mortal kombat was a blast it was really fun so really for me it really comes down to mortal kombat one or super mario wonder or super mario bros wonder and i can't play super mario bros wonder with my kid so it's a different thing uh playing that game and it was very trippy it was very fun uh, Super Mario Bros. Wonder, but my kid can play it and seeing her progress like slowly get better because she was awful at it first because she's never played Mario, right? And her like being like, Dad, Dad, I beat it, I beat it, and being like, Oh wow, you beat a level by yourself, you know? Like you didn't collect anything or whatever, but you got to the end, you know? So that's and then I get to do all the I play it again to get the collectibles. So it's 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 fun because it's like either replay a level or. You know, we just we go back and forth. We take turns. She dies or I die or whatever. Uh, but yeah, it was that. That was just. And it was. It was a new. It was something brought new to the table, but it was also very familiar. At least at first, you know. So I, I love that Super Mario Bros. Wonder, for sure. And, and is it, it, I know we've talked about this on the past, but I mean, like the the gameplay part of it, was it just like another. Super Mario Brothers, or was it like completely different? Well, they added so many new elements. Like I said, like the the powers, or like the the perks, or abilities, or whatever. Mm -hmm. Like you can get and stuff, and they make some that are like harder. Like you can be invisible. I'm invisible. Can you see me? Yes. yes. Wow. Maybe you should put some shorts on or something if you want to keep fighting evil today. Uh, so that one's really crazy. <laughs> Shelby <laughs> accidentally turned that one on a few times, and I'd be like. Oh my gosh, she's like, man, I can't see myself. <laughs> I'd be like, open your eyes. She's like, no. And it's like, hey, she was invisible. And I was like, this is super hard. Nice. Like, I don't know why anybody <laughs> would do this. But I think you get, there's perks from it. Like, you get more coins or whatever, you know, if you can finish it. So, but it's 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 a blast. Just like, yeah, there's, there's enough new stuff and enough familiar stuff to make it like the perfect Mario experience. Awesome. Yeah, I would have to say Spider-Man 2. It was a blast to play. And uh, definitely, like, the story was really good. The game probably could have been longer, but I still think it was worth it. And then uh, 
All the seats are cool too, right? Be, yeah, and seeing the power of the PS5 was nice. A little saddening at the same time. Because uh, seeing the power of the PS5, then going back to the Xbox, knowing that because of the Series S, some of the features that the PS5 can do just won't happen on third party games or Xbox exclusives. Because basically, uh, once you get in the game, there's almost no loading whatsoever. And that's like really impressive that there's no loading in the games. <laughs> yeah, I heard the fast travel is just so great because it's yeah. just like so smooth and so easy and, and it just makes it so much better. Even like the gliding and stuff, but like getting to be symbiote Spider-Man and then facing off with Venom. I heard there's going to be DLC for Venom because that's what people want. Uh, you know, so like, and then, and then I think they're going to be a third, and that's going to be the, I don't know if that's going to be the end of the trilogy or what. I know there was a leak. I haven't, I haven't looked into it too much, but I don't really like to get, uh, you know, ruined by the leaks and stuff. But, yeah. But, yeah. So. So you're going to be able to play soon, right? Um, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. I'm not even sure. <laughs> <laughs> Once you get time, right? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Um, so I should be able to play with my kids. I don't think yeah. it's too violent. No, so you should be able to play with your kids. I'm sure they might try to play, but I don't know, you know, how well that'll go. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> probably not so much. They'll they'll probably get frustrated with the web slinging because <laughs> the web slinging does take a little bit of practice, just like the original one. Okay, so was it mash. like it's the is it the triggers that you're swinging on or it's the bumpers? The bumpers. Okay. Yeah. That's cool though. Like, but you alternate. You, like you this. can alternate, or you can do the same. Okay. But if you do the same, you're gonna go more towards the right. Gotcha. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you can decide what you want to do from there, and then of course, you can uh, you can shoot you can shoot web at enemies too, and do different type of combos. Nice. Yeah, it's definitely a lot of fun, and then it's really cool if you have like Miles with you and you're playing as Peter or Miles, you can do combos together and play off of each other's moves. Oh, that's cool. To uh, attack enemies, or if you want like a little web-slinging boost, they can get boosts to each other, too. Awesome. Uh, you know what I want is like another Ultimate Alliance game. Oh, yes. Because, yeah, I, you know, I want to be able to, like, Wolverine and somebody else do something, but the new Wolverine leaks that I've seen look sick for the, the game, so I'm excited for that to come out. Alright, and so for for me, for Game of the Year, I'm going to have to go with the sports bros. I'm going to have to say Madden 24. Um, they changed up the whole engine of it. You can actually play against... I have an Xbox uh, Series X, so you can play against PlayStation players now. So it's given like this whole like depth of competition, because it's like, okay, for a long time I was kicking butt on on Xbox players. Now there's now there's computer people and now uh, PS5 people uh, playing too. And also the graphics, I, I, I swear not, it looks like you're actually in the game. It, it's it's just, it's done so well. Um, for many for many years people have been complaining about Madden not changing up like stuff. So they finally did a lot and then the accuracy like the stadiums look insane, guys. I'm, it, it, it's it's crazy. And then you'll have to let you guys play it. But, uh, it's, That's it's good because awesome. it, it gets disheartening where they keep charging you for a new game. And just like for rosters. Just <laughs> feels like it's for roster because graphics yeah. look the same and like mechanics are the same. So it's good they finally did something different with it. Yeah, and it, it gives you more incentive to do on site kicks, you know, like the stuff that. Are kind of cheap in my opinion but I think it's cool because you couldn't really do onside kicks and get it back very often like they put like in an element in where you can actually kick it better and it bounces more and it, it's it's cool it's cool in that that sense so nice does it have like you can play older like legendary teams play as or play against they have this thing called Madden Ultimate Team where you can kind of create your own fantasy team where it has like Bo Jackson, 
Joe Montana. But um, I haven't traveled that far into the game if there is, because I just usually go online and try to play people. Um, there might be that element, because I know, I know an ultimate team, it's like you collect football cards, and then those are your players. And you can, you know, of course, purchase if you want the better stuff, or try to buy one from someone online. Um, yeah, if you do Mahomes, do like a year ago, not right now. <laughs> he doesn't have any receivers this year, so I'm going to give him a pass. Uh, but <laughs> so do they upload like new stats? Yes. So that it like fits like whatever their current... So like, as we know, the Cowboys, Trayvon Diggs got hurt earlier in the year, so he's not, he's not starting in the game, but you can... You can pause and then go to your roster and put them back in. So, okay. you know, it is it is what it is. Um, but, yeah, it does update where it's like Brock Purdy didn't, start, didn't have a superstar <laughs> status, but now he is because he's an MVP contender, yeah. except for yesterday. But, <laughs> so, yeah, um, you know, for the sports people that maybe tune in, I know we have a few, but. Nice. You never know. I mean, uh, what about them Dolphins? Uh, I mean, managing to like squeak by, but you know what? Squeaking by is still a win. Right. And well, that's when you kick, to do. When you kick five field goals and that's your whole team, your players, you know. <laughs> yeah. Can you play as LeBron? No. <laughs> Sounds like a garbage game. It sounds awful. That'd be the other, the NBA. <laughs> no, well, you can't play NBA players. You can, you can, like, let's just say you create LeBron and put him in the game. <laughs> You're like, that would I mean, be cool. If it counts, he can play as one baseball player. He's like Actually, dunking. Two. He's so like he dunking over there. Bo Jackson or, what is it, Deion Sanders, right? Yeah. 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 Baseball too? Yeah. 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 He's all hitting the ball. <laughs> 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 Through the field goals. <laughs> You know how you anger a uh, you know uh, Chiefs fan? You just say one sentence if they insult the Raiders and they get angry. Bo Jackson was a royal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> because, yeah, royals are the Kansas City uh, baseball team, so. Yeah. <laughs> so he played, played baseball in Kansas City and then... Uh, Football in, uh, was it Oakland or L.A.? I think it was L.A. Oh, 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 I don't know if it was. It probably was L.A. I think it was L.A. Like, it was right around the time where they were in L.A. for a little bit and then went back to Oakland. And then, uh, so honorable mentions for sure in uh, Mortal Kombat 1. Uh, you know, that was such a great story. Mm -hmm. Like, it felt like I was watching a movie and then just randomly playing, like, the fight oh, yeah. scenes. So that, that was cool, and then you go into the Mortal Kombat tournament, and then Liu Kang, like, and all that, just all that, like, side story, and then being able to cross, like, the, you know, we talked about it in the reviews, but John Connor, I thought that was funny, you know, like, Shao Kahn and, and Johnny Cage put together. Johnny Cage's, um... Indiana Jones scene, <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Uh, and, and, and it's great, uh, John claude Van Damme was one of the voices. Uh, it's just, it was, oh gosh, it was such a good game, too. I want to play it again, mm -hmm. just because, like, once the, all the DLC's there and everything, I think it'll be Yeah, I know, because I want to play as Homelander so bad. <laughs> yeah, once all the Omni Man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, once all the DLC hits, get it on the PS5. Uh, it'll probably look really good on there. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I just want to give some shout-outs, uh, especially to Atticus. Thank you for giving us a shout-out on your page. So I was talking to some of the guys from Talk Nerdy To Me, the show. It's a YouTube channel, and I wanted to give them a shout-out. He recently reached 500 subscribers, so that's a huge thing. I know. I saw that shout-out. That was really awesome, man. And, uh, fantastic. Atticus, we, we appreciate you. Appreciate your support and your feedback every time we have a video. It's only going to help us get better, and man, we, we support you, we want, guys, go check out this guy, he's, he's an awesome dude. Yeah, his videos are really raw, they're really awesome, It's he lives in Vietnam, he's a teacher there, so you get some stuff if you want to be a teacher there, just seeing the country, like I love to just see the country and see the, you know, the buildings and stuff and the food, like it's, it's really cool, I like it. 
So uh, how was, dark it can get. That's pretty cool. Too. Yeah, it's 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 really it's really neat. Uh, Pesky Gremlins is another one of our uh, one of our uh, partners. Uh, Cinematic Anarchy uh, Filmmakers Pod. M.K. Jekyll and Hyde. Film Rage for sure. Like we have a good back and forth with them, as well as M.K. Jekyll and Hyde. Uh, Web Web Imagine Service. They put out music and stuff. I think mostly in Europe and in, in England and stuff. So they got some cool jams. And then Amerame Media, and, and they cover all kinds of like nerdy anime gaming stuff and stuff. Similar to us, but different of course, because they're different people. So it's, it's, it's really good stuff. So check them all out. And our merch, we got TMNT yep. style stuff, you know, over here. And then we got some MMPR, Power Rangers stuff. I love our Power Rangers stuff. I need to get my own, because it's wicked. And then I got the Doctor Who that I made for this Merch of the Month stuff. And yeah, continue to check it out. We have Echo next month, so we're probably gonna do a little Daredevil. I want to do like a designator driver one, <laughs> so if we can do that. Um, and just Echo stuff. I need to look up, do some research on Echo because she's a really cool character, and make some merch for that. And whatever else, we got One Piece coming out next month, so we got we got more. There's always more stuff coming. Uh, so we're gonna keep you all in the know and cover that stuff for you, merch and just videos across the board so yeah stay tuned you know 2024 is going to be only bigger and better for talk nerdy to me so make sure you stay tuned and stay nerdy planet earth talk nerdy me